When living an autoimmune lifestyle, avoid foods with fungi, bacteria, yeast, or mold. This might sound obvious at first. You know, if we see mold on bread, we either break off the bad part before eating it or throw it out. However, fungi, bacteria, yeast, and mold are already in lots of food we eat. Take fungi. 5.1 million types of fungi grow on old things, especially old food, and decompose it. This is what I call the not fresh food category, such as dried, smoked, aged meats like beef jerky. It's smoked to cure and preserve it. However, in the presence of moisture, it will grow fungi. Same with dried fruit, dehydrated mango, dried veggies like fresh mushrooms that they shrink down. Then there's fungi in what I call the totally not fresh food. Most condiments, mayo, mustard, ketchup, soy sauce, salad dressing, any food that's been around longer has more opportunity for the right conditions for naturally occurring fungi to germinate it. Think of your refrigerator door. If you've ever canned or jarred your own food, you'll see how easy it is to get a bad batch that grows fungi, even after taking considerable measures to sanitize the food in containers. Packaged fruit juices, pre-packaged food, canned vegetables, then there's bacteria that's purposely added to certain foods, such as yogurt and cheese. Certain foods have yeast added, bread, beer, wine, alcohol. Mold is a type of fungus and is purposefully added to some foods, like blue cheese. Then there are foods that get moldy because of the way we transport and store food, such as pistachios, are very susceptible to mold because they're stored in bulk in humid silos. On the autoimmune lifestyle, we're trying to reduce the amount of fungi, bacteria, yeast, and mold in the body. Avoid all of these. Yes, I know, people have been eating fungi, bacteria, yeast, and mold for 9,000 years. How bad could it be? It can't be great if they tell pregnant women to stop eating blue cheese. Germs are everywhere, in our air, water, soil, food, and yes, inhabiting our bodies. There are good germs like the ones we can eat, such as probiotics for the gut, that coexist in the body in harmony and are beneficial to us. And bad germs, ones that do not benefit us, sometimes we're a host to parasites that cause serious problems, secrete toxins, damage cells, and lead to disease. If you have an autoimmune condition, you're already dealing with a gut that's way out of balance. Eliminate adding additional fungi, bacteria, yeast, and mold, and see if you don't feel a lot better.